Welcome to Watch Therefore, the program designed to help the disciple of Messiah Jesus obey His command to watch therefore and be ready, for you don't know the hour or the day your Lord is coming. Dove Schwartz here at the Sea of Galilee, encouraging everyone who's watching more than ever to watch therefore and be ready. Jerusalem's Zion's king will restore the land, the clouds will part, and our king will descend the fire in his eyes, seven stars, his right hand. I'm so thankful to be with you once again on the program Watch Therefore. I'm continuing to teach from the series for my book, Activate the Blessings of the Abraham Covenant. But first, I want to say thank you to those who are praying for our ministries, sending in kind notes and encouraging letters, and they even come with prayer requests, and we pray over those faithfully uh, by grace and mercy. Also, thank you for those who are helping us financially to support this ministry. Now, uh, with the teaching today, the title of the message is, You Are Bible Prophecy. First, let's have a word of prayer. Oh, Father in heaven, thank you in Messiah Jesus' name for all of our viewers. Please bless the teaching and hearing of your word, and also help us to watch therefore and be ready. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, one of the things that's so exciting about being a child of Abraham by new birth new birth into the new covenant of Messiah Jesus is quite literally the experience of being part of Bible prophecy. For any Gentile follower of Messiah, here is your promise, which makes you a fulfillment of the prophetic word of the living God. The seventh promise goes like this, and in you, Abraham, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And in Romans 11 and in chapter 2, you see in your Bible, and I explain in my book, that any Gentile disciple of our Savior Jesus has been grafted into the body of Christ in fulfillment of this seventh covenant promise, the seventh promise of the Abraham covenant. And not only grafted in, they also became a prophetic fulfillment, just like the Bible proclaims in Galatians chapter 3. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all the nations shall be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Oh, what joy the sons and daughters of Abraham in the nations should walk in as they show living proof of our loving heavenly Father. Now, in my book, I cite 15 verses regarding the glory and joy of our Lord to save and call so many from the nations who are His children. And those 15 verses are just a fraction of those found in the Bible. Here are a few. Psalm 18, Therefore, I give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. Psalm 98, Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice, and sing praises. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Laud Him, all you peoples. That was Psalm 117. And look at Isaiah. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, who shall stand as a banner to the people. For the Gentiles shall seek Him, and His resting place shall be glorious. And then let's listen in to Isaiah's account of a conversation between our Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles. Now consider this. Sadly, there are extreme doctrines in different camps who profess Messiah Jesus. Not only in the anti-Israel camp, but also in the pro-Israel camp. Lately, in some 
Bible prophecy theological camps, the promises to Israel in the Abraham covenant have been more widely reported than those to the new covenant church. Now, for about 18 centuries, it's been the other way around. And in some Christian circles, today even, they continue to ignore or even bash Israel. The prophetic truths of these promises to the predominantly Gentile church are about to unfold in powerful, earth-shaking events. First, I'll ask this question. Is there any reason to deny that all the promises of the seven given to Abraham, except for one very important one, also apply to new covenant sons and daughters of Abraham from the nations? Certainly not, and God forbid. The one exception is the promised land, the promised land Israel being given to the Jews, to Israel. And we especially see this in the thousand year reign of Christ, which I'll talk about in just a moment. This brings us to the reason for this hallelujah chapter in my book, You Are Bible Prophecy. Every non-Jewish person in the world who has believed in Messiah Yeshua, our Lord Jesus, has become a son or daughter of Abraham in fulfillment of this seventh promise in the Abraham covenant. And if that's you, guess what? You're a walking, talking, neon sign, a neon billboard that proclaims Elohim, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is able to keep His promises and nobody can stop him because if God is for me, who can be against me? You are also walking, talking Bible prophecy, a last day's fulfillment of an ancient promise. All Abraham's spiritual sons and daughters, Jew and Gentile, have become so by way of the new covenant. And in Ephesians 2.15 are called one new man in Messiah Jesus. However, the calling purpose, and end times fulfillment of the New Covenant Church is very special and comes with unique and distinct promises in Bible prophecy. The whole earth and all its inhabitants are, to, are about to experience these end time prophetic scenarios in a biblical manner unique to this generation. Now, today's mostly unbelieving Israel has very unique prophetic end time scenarios that are different to the New Covenant Church. They involve Jacob's trouble and a remnant of Israel receiving Messiah Yeshua as he returns at the end of what is often called the tribulation period of time. Israel and those from the nation's who are called the sheep in the sheep and goats judgment, when Messiah Jesus returns, they will be in human, not yet glorified bodies during what is called the 1,000 year millennial reign of Christ, which is found in Revelation chapter 20. Revelation 20, it's found six times in that chapter. And many Bible passages concerning this are clearly explained in my Activate the Blessings book. Yeah, here are just a couple of them. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, and it is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And then Matthew chapter 25, the sheep and goats judgment. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the, on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Now, don't forget this, folks. This generation will see these things. And we'll be right back in just a moment with more seventh promise blessings from the Abraham covenant. Remember, watch therefore and be ready. This Watch Therefore television program and message is going into 200 million homes in 200 countries. Oh, hallelujah. As the Lord is using this as a tool to help make disciples 
who will hear from him one day very soon. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. This message stirs the lukewarm to repent and seek after the Lord with a whole heart. It also ties perfectly with the gospel as many see the desperate need for a savior in these waning hours of this prophetic generation. Remember to watch therefore and be ready. Along with our Watch Therefore television program, we have our ministries blessing Israeli believers and poured out for the nations. Like Romans 1.16 says, to the Jew first and then to the nations. Our co-founding partner of Blessing Israeli Believers, John McTurnan and myself, we co-founded the ministry as we partner with Israeli believers in Messiah Jesus who are getting out the gospel, making disciples, saving babies from abortion, helping Holocaust survivors, and so much more. And then our To The Nations ministry poured out for the nations where we go to many countries in Africa and other places as well getting out the gospel, preaching the Watch Therefore message, seeing many saved, helping orphans and widows as well. Oh, what incredible opportunities we have through blessing Israeli believers and poured out for the nations. What a way to watch therefore and be ready when our Savior comes for us in the clouds. A great way to get acquainted and stay close to our ministry is through our monthly free newsletters. You can receive your Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nation's newsletter by post or by email. Uh, we have updates about what's going on in the ministry along with important devotionals that will help you to watch therefore and be ready. Go to our website, watchtherefore.tv and sign up for our Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nation's monthly newsletters. Along with prayer, there are those who would like to financially partner with our ministry. First, let me say this. If you've not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do not send any money into this ministry. It's our desire that you would be our guest and even pray to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord today. For those who would like to financially partner with the ministry, there's three primary ways to do so. You can give to our Watch Therefore television program, our ministry blessing Israeli believers, or poured out for the nations. You can do so by post or online. There's information there on the screen. What a great way to lay your treasures up in heaven and to watch therefore and be ready. In Luke 5, we see that Peter needed partners to help bring in a large catch of fish at the hands of Messiah Jesus. Our Savior Jesus then tells his disciples they will be fishers of men. Our Lord is sending me out fishing through our ministry, poured out for the nations, our gospel and discipleship ministry under watch therefore. Praying, giving, and going are three ways of gospel partnership. I'm going to be preaching in Burundi and Rwanda in Africa in August and September. These fishing trips will be very expensive, yet it will be worth it to see new saved disciples of Messiah Jesus. What a great way to watch therefore and be ready. Would you prayerfully consider doing the praying and giving? And I will do the going. Together, we will be fishers of men. See our Gospel 2020 page for more details at watchtherefore.tv. Yes, these times are difficult and challenging, but I have some good news. The Lord promised that He would be Abraham's shield and great reward. The Bible tells we who believe in Messiah Jesus that we are Abraham's children by covenant. So then, we can experience the blessings of the Abraham covenant by faith. In my book, Activate the Blessings of the Abraham Covenant, you will learn how to walk out your identity as children of Abraham. You will find powerful activation points that provide practical faith strategies for confidence and victory. With a donation of any amount to watch, therefore, blessing Israeli believers or poured out for the nations, you will receive your copy of Activate the Blessings of the Abraham Covenant. Make sure to write on the memo section of your check or the notes section for online giving, ATB book, and remember, Watch Therefore and be ready. Welcome back to Watch Therefore as we continue to consider the seventh promise of the Abraham Covenant. We see Abba Father's plan to fulfill his seventh promise to Abraham interrupts his prophetic plans for Israel while he sends the gospel to the nations of the world. This began soon after the glorious resurrection of His only begotten Son, Yeshua. His directives are given to His first apostles and later explained through His apostle Paul. Remember, these are all Jews who first took the gospel 
to the Gentiles. In Matthew 28, we see, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Now I'm getting ready to read a passage from Ephesians that's very long. It's also very powerful. Stay with me and get blessed. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus for you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which was given to me for you, how that by revelation he made known to me the mystery, as I have briefly written already, by which when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to its holy apostles and prophets, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of its promise in Christ through the gospel, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of His power. To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ. To the, to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in Him. Excuse me. Hallelujah. And see that before the foundations of the earth, Elohim, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit's plan was to use His gospel to the Gentiles to confound the works of the devil and unveil this incredible mystery, the born-again church comprised mostly of those who fulfill the seventh promise of the Abraham covenant, proclaims to the defiant, demonic hosts the wisdom and the glory of the Lord. That's who you are as a Gentile follower of Messiah Yeshua. Now certainly, the new covenant body of Messiah is one new man made up of Jews and Gentiles, yes, not One is not better or worse than the other, right? There's no distinction. All need to be saved by Messiah Jesus, but it is predominantly Gentile at this time. And we are to be preparing for the next assigned event for us, though it's under great attack from all sides, including from those, sadly, in the church today. This prophetic miracle stemming from the Abraham and New Covenants will be the greatest blessing second only to the redemption of forgiveness for our sins. It's actually the final act of redemption for us, the redemption of our souls and our bodies when we're caught up to meet the Lord in the air, the rapture of the church. At one point, the Greek New Testament was translated into Latin. The words caught up in Latin is where we get the word rapture. Paul says it this way, For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Well, the revealed mystery of the Gentile believers exposes another once hidden mystery, the rapture. This is the hope of born-again Jews and Gentiles in Messiah Yeshua, which is also called the Blessed Hope in the book of Titus. And, and we see that we're to rest our hope fully in the grace of receiving glorified bodies when we meet the Lord in the air and go to the place He has been preparing for us. We're also to be preparing for this day, living by grace and purifying our faith walk. Here are some powerful scriptures that lay these things out. Stay with me. We're going to look at a lot of Bible here, and shouldn't that bless us? Amen? Colossians 1, The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to His saints. 
To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Titus 2, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave Himself for us, that He might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for Himself His own special people, zealous for good works. Hey, more scriptures like this, we might get revival right now. Come on. 1 John 3, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when He is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who has this hope in Him purifies himself just as He is pure. Listen to Peter. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And then listen to the Apostle John talk about that place the Lord's been preparing for us. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions or dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And it's during this time that the promises of blessing intensify to almost unimaginable heights. Those who have faithfully embraced their Abraham covenant, seventh promise mandate, by walking out their faith in Messiah Yeshua, are rewarded greatly. This will be at the judgment seat of Christ, where followers of Messiah will be judged for the stewardship of their gospel lives. The blessings include rewards of glorified bodies, crowns, and then positions of authority in the kingdom of Messiah Jesus on the earth, following His return to the earth and His restoration of the earth. What a blessed honor it will be to rule and reign under the greatest king ever, King Messiah Jesus. Now, many Bible passages unfold these powerful realities. And they're for anyone in the world who will reach out and take hold of them. And may the word of the Lord that we're about to read pertaining to these things jump right off the screens, right off the pages of the Bible, right into your heart and your mind and your life. 1 Corinthians 3, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved yet, so as through fire. Uh, Colossians 3. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Hebrews 11.6, But without faith it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is, that he is and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. 2 John 1.8, Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things which we worked for, but that we may receive a full Reward. One more verse, Revelation 22, Messiah is speaking to his churches, and behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give everyone according to his work. Oh, hallelujah, and thank you, Lord. So embrace this for yourself. If you, if you are a disciple of Messiah Jesus, and you're from the nations, according to the seventh promise, of the Abraham covenant, you are blessed and you are Bible prophecy. Now, time to activate. I have activation points at the end of many chapters of my book. So it's time to activate and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed, Abram. Here I'm going to give five out of eight that are in my book. Number one, today embrace the love of Elohim the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit upon you as a covenant fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Two, 
today know and believe that our Abba Father is keeping His promise to bless you in Messiah Yeshua even through hard times. Three, today rejoice that approximately 4,000 years after this promise, here you are as living proof of the loving Savior, Jesus. Four, today know and live like nothing and nobody can stop the Lord from fulfilling His plans for and through you. Five, today let grace teach you to live godly as you look for our Savior to come and take you to the place He has been preparing for you. Wow, wow, such an important program. And I pray these things are yours. And if they're not, maybe you need to be saved today. Maybe you need to come into the covenants the Lord made. The Abraham covenant fulfilled in the new covenant. How? Our Savior Jesus came and gave his sinless life as an offering to pay for our sins. Every time we've lied, cursed God's name, stolen it, and, and much more, and much more, was nailed to the cross. The innocent Savior Jesus took our sins upon himself. He died, he was buried, and on the third day he rose from the grave and he commands us, here's what you need to do to be saved. Repent, change your mind about your sins, begin to turn from them, and put your faith in Messiah Jesus. At which point, he will give you a new life. He will make you a new creation. How? He will send his Holy Spirit to live in you. And you'll be born again, born from above. And then you will escape the penalty for your sins, which is a real place called hell, where people have sinned against God who have not yet been forgiven, who have not been forgiven. That's where they go when they go into the next life, into eternity. Oh, cry out to the Lord Jesus. Now save me, Lord, and help me to live a life that honors our Father in heaven and forgive me for my sins. There's information at the bottom of your screen. Contact us. We'll send you a free brochure to help you begin your new life in Messiah Jesus. Remember, watch Therefore and be ready. Thank you for watching the program today. Watch Therefore is sponsored by the friends and partners of Watch Therefore Ministries. In future programs, we'll have many more Watch Therefore teachings from the Bible, worship, and exciting interviews with our believing partners in Israel and around the world. Please contact us at doveforisrael at gmail.com. That's D-O-V-F-O-R-I-S-R-A-E-L at gmail.com. And if you would like to subscribe to our newsletter, you can fill out a contact form on the website watchtherefore.tv. We also have audio programs available on our website watchtherefore.tv. We are on social media since it is a great tool to share the gospel and communicate with one another. You can also find us there at Watch Therefore TV. Until next time, we're watching for King Jesus to return. Watch Therefore and be ready. We know he came, the Lamb who was slain, he'll come again. Our conquering king on that day His sword will go forth to take back 